What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. EA have released the foot birthday Renato Sanchez SBC and I want him. He just looks good, he's reasonably priced and we can force him into a fun squad. So Ozil and Podolski are going to be out. Uh, Ronaldo is coming back in. Renato is going to sit in that centre mid spot. It's going to be 97 overall team chemistry with everyone on 7 or 8 minimum uh, and only 4 players off chem. Uh, I'm actually quite excited to use the team. But uh, to start with, of course, we have to build the Renato Sanchez. Now, fortunately enough, we've picked up enough fodder over the last uh, four or five days since doing the last SBC that we're in a really healthy position. So first of all, we're going to be submitting this squad for the 87 rated one Portuguese player, 50 chemistry, calm as you like. The 90 rated Allison that we got out of player pick pack is in there. Uh, Benzema, I can't remember when we packed him, is out there. We've got the Modric from a player pick pack and we're leaving on the bench. Some real nice players, including that Steve Mandanda. That gets us a rare election players pack and completes the most expensive segment of this uh, SBC, which of course is very nice. If we could pack something nice out of this as well, would be good. No boards, unlucky. Um, and uh, yeah, there's nothing, nothing we really care about there. Let's get rid of this guy. Blackburn did not do the business for you, Armstrong owners. And uh, yeah, I'm basically, guys, I've already played some Champs games without Renato. You can see by the record there, you're going to see some of those games in today's video as well. Um, but I'm going to go build the next squad and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So the next squad is done. And uh, in this squad, we are getting rid of this Terreira. I know he's there for the Arsenal past and present, but we now have Tierney as our left back anyway. And he's a card that's on the market, so we could buy it back if we needed to. Um, this Estupinan came out of our party bag. He's useless. Mario Fernandez, obviously, we need to get rid of. Iñaki Williams, of course, has his foot birthday card now. So we have no reason to hold on to this. And uh, should we ever need an Ansu Fati, he does have a 1.7 million coin Future Stars card. So they are all going. That gets us a premium gold players pack and leaves us needing one more segment done, which is an 85 uh, with no inform. We've got a couple of good cards that we could put back in. That's Steve Mandanda being one of them. Um, we've sadly got nothing really out of that so i'm gonna go and build that last squad and i will be right back all right guys the final team is done people in my stream seem to be uh, very offended by the players that i'm using but uh we're putting in steve mandanda whom of course we completed for no other reason than to put into an spc uh we are using the 85 Dubravka, the 86 chillwell and then the 88 curtis jones who since i completed his spc has played a grand total of five games for us. Uh, of course, there was a lot of coins spent on him, about 500k, but we did him with like duplicate fodder during that time. So it's, it's not really that big of a deal. Was it a waste? Could I put it elsewhere? Probably might have been able to do another icon pack instead or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, the fact that he just doesn't get into our team, you know, obviously if I had the centre mid version, it might be a different story. But that, guys, is Renato Sanchez completed with nothing but fodder. I've still got a little bit left, you know, nothing major. Uh, but we've got to start the fodder building again now for the next big SBC that is going to be good for us. And uh, Renato s slots straight into the squads. And uh, yeah, today you're going to see some games without him. And then towards the back end of the video, some games with him. I think I'm going to play 4 4 2 now. Um, and I think I'm going to put. I think we're going to put a sh uh, shadow on him, I think. I think we're going to put a shadow on him. Uh, if I'm not liking that, I could go and put an anchor on him or an engine or something like that. Uh, but to show you where he's going to fit, I need to go and buy some position modifiers as well. He's going to slot into that spot right there. And then we'll show you guys how we're going to be playing uh, today as well. Let's pop him in there. Let's get the uh, shadow chem style on him. I need to get some pos mods for uh, Royce, uh, Vidal and Ronaldo. But in terms of the tactics, we're going to be playing like this. I don't want press after possession loss. I want balanced. I don't want possession there. What am I playing on the other one? Is it long ball? Yeah, long ball. I want to go back to long ball. Um, and then in terms of the formation, we are going to set up with Renato and Vidal in the middle. We're going to have uh, lower... And Ronaldo up front. We're going to have Royce and De Bruyne on the wings. I'm going to give De Bruyne a, a chem style that will make him a lot more pacey and such. But now, guys, we have got 
obviously lower, four star, four star, five star, four star Ronaldo, five star, four star Royce, four star, five star, five star, four star, and five star, four star, and then five star on him as well. So we got skill moves and weak foot everywhere. And then of course, if it's not working or we want to um, change the team or whatever, we have got an insane, insane bench. Messi, Podolski, Rooney, Ozil, Des Hernandez and Cantona. We've got players like Cliver, Dybala and all sorts on the reserve. So we're in a good spot. So I'm going to go and finish off this team for chemistry and sort of whatnot. And then let's get into some gameplay. Oh, what team that is. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. Let's go, Lewandowski. Nice. That's a, that's a really important goal. That's a really important goal. This guy's good. I don't mind that foul there. Got nothing going on from here. Apart from the fact that he has because his game is so dumb. Okay, fair enough. Jesus Christ, man. GG's. Good win, that. Good win. That, that, that was a tough opponent, that. Very good win. He was, he was tricky, man. He was super tricky. His goal was a bit cheese, man. Genuinely was. Um, but very, very, very good game, man. Very tough game. Um, we dominated the possession, but chances were quite even. Yes, yeah, I swear, I swear I got his, I got the ball with Blanc. We've got one goal for Lewa, one for Podolski, an assist for Lewa and for Podolski. I thought my goals were pretty uh, pretty good as well. Let's have a look at them. This from Lewa is brilliant, like really patient. But Zambrotta just waiting, boom, finds that pass, finds that goal. Really patient, really good stuff. And then this, this, this yellow card, how this isn't a red, I don't know. Look, I'm clean through, boom, takes me out. That has to be a red card. We then make it 2-0 with Podolski. Lovely stuff from Davies. To Lewa, to Podolski. Boom, love that. And then here's where he gets his goal. He takes a quick free kick. We're, we're comfortable here. He pushes. I've got it with Blanc. He like phases through him. It's tough. That is tough. But we got the win anyway. And uh, happy days there, boys. Very nice indeed. I think it's fair to say that Renato Sanchez SBC can be expensive, but still reasonably slash fairly priced, you know? If he's got like insane stats... And he's coming in. Oh, that's a nice team. And he's coming in with like five star weak foot and like and just like really, really good in games and whatnot. A million coins wouldn't be unreasonable because his road to the final was 1.3 million coins and it won't be as good as what this for birthday would have will be, you know? Um, so, uh, yeah, I think we can certainly differentiate between overpriced and fairly priced. Zeal baby, my guy. Oh, we love that. Nice. Oh, I should have double tapped that, shouldn't I? Keeper, please. Oh, come on, man. I called him so long, so long before. Nice. Love that. That's a beautiful goal. Royce with the finish. De Bruyne with the La Croqueta cancel in the box. Oh, lower. Oh, hoo, hoo. That's off the fake shot cancel, that is. Oh, this is liquid football, this. Liquid football, this. Oh, that is beautiful stuff. Absolutely sensational, that. 
GG's, boys. GG's. That again was a, one of those frustrating ones. Even though we get a 4-1 win there. Um, it, like, the way this guy was playing was just super triggering. And I know, it's you know, it's, that's kind of a me problem. But it doesn't take away from the fact that it was quite triggering. Let's see. We, scored, we went, look at that, 60% possession. Six shots, one on target. Six shots, six on target. So we scored the first one with Ozil. Just find a nice little bit of space here. It gives, it gives me way too much space with Ozil there. I had level with the through ball one as well, but that is a banging finish, that, from uh, Masut and Ty. Look, level's through there if I want it. Just hit that finesse, though. Oh, man. That swings, that does. That's a cracking goal. Then he equalizes. And look, look where, he, look where he picks up the ball, right? He, I've got the ball. He passes, gets the ball back, one pass to Ronaldinho, and then one pass to Mbappe, and that's it. And so at that point, I'm sitting there like, look, we're just going to get done like this the whole game if we don't do something about this. We're not getting 2 0 up. The Brawn here, La Croqueta cancel into Royce. Love that. I mean, that is, that is some good FIFA. It's not good football because this skill move is just not realistic, but that is some good FIFA. Marco Royce, bomb. Love that. Um, and then this one, I think my favourite goal of the game. Lewandowski gets the ball. The fake shot cancel. Cuts it around. Oh, that is a bang. I mean, that is a bang. The way this ball goes. You need to see this from the other angle. Look, fake shot cancel allows me to just turn around very quickly. And then, bomb. Oh, man, that's not even in the corner. As like he's just hit it so fast, so hard. The keeper has no chance. And then we score the fourth three minutes later with Podolski. Beautiful build-up play here. Royce back into Lucas bangs on his weaker right foot into the top bins. We get ourselves a four-one win. Very nice indeed. Controlling possession again, just getting countered again. Oh my days! What team that is? Torres, Podolski, Kaka, Rooney, Hullet. Let's see. It's just ball. It's just ball. This guy's a good player. Don't get me wrong. And I probably shouldn't have pulled the keeper. But it's just ball. head's gone on this one guys I get it really triggered man against obviously a good player a good player like when when he scores a goal like that it's just it just head goes you know what I mean head goes I was hoping that he'd like his stamina issues would start causing us allowing us to, to get in the game but There's one back. That's a good goal as well. A nice goal. I was hoping that he'd like his stamina issues would start causing us, allowing us to, to get in the game. But there's one back. That's a good goal as well. A nice goal. saves <sighs> not quite what I wanted to do hey GG's fair, fair enough this guy was good man it was a tough game it was a tough game it's just uh, the, the two goals I, I had my chances that's the problem I, I just didn't convert at all all saves for each of our keepers there um, yeah like, I mean very very even game look at where my shots are from good areas two from outside the box his shots from good areas Possession fairly balanced, passing fairly balanced, tackles fairly balanced. And this game was unfortunately decided by, first of all, this here. Look at that. It's just poor, isn't it? Just, so I've just got nothing going on there anyway. I mean, I probably shouldn't, I probably should have passed back to the keeper, really. Compose myself, pass back to the keeper and just never concede that goal. 
But I rushed the pass back to Poyol. He just read it. And then he's in there. And then I pulled the keeper out again. If I just don't pull the keeper out, he probably still scores. But there's a chance we save it. This goal was nice. Just really worked, really well worked. Shame about the timing of this goal. And it was very, very, very quickly after the last one as well. Yeah, 40 and 45. We've got one back, 49. Really, really well worked goal this one as well. Ball into Lewa. Shot in off the post. And this one killed the game here. Keeper rushes out. Brilliant. It's just tough, man. That is tough. I tried the offside trap just as he passed the ball, which uh, was a bit frustrating. He got, you know, that, that's just bad timing. Hits the keeper, hits the player, hits the keeper, hits the player, and then bounces perfectly to his Etu. That's just tough. Not, not that we scored again anyway. It wouldn't, you know, he might have just seen the game out 2 1. But a really close contested game that we just couldn't quite. Um, couldn't quite get the, uh, get the run on for there. GG's to him, man. GG's to him. 28 ping on this one. Let's see what this guy's got. Yes, that's an interesting team. Some usual suspects in there, but it's not like the most insane team. Oh, come on now. If I play as good as I did against that last guy there, every game in the weekend league, I will get a considerable number of wins. And we'll like slowly but surely work on improving the areas that we're doing bad on. You know what I mean? This this weekend, hilariously, nine and one, or you know, obviously we got to nine and zero. Oh, that's my best start in in a few weeks. Um. With that being said, that's a joke, isn't it? That's a joke of a goal. Here we go. Oh. I'll be scoring that, really, haven't I? Here we go, Royce. Lovely stuff. Let's go, baby. We deserve that. Oh, what a joke of a goal. What a joke of a goal. genuinely genuinely think i've done enough here right we've we've got him to this position he's got nothing on and then for some reason see here this is this animation right zambrotta touches him and that little touch there sends zambrotta flying it's almost like a um like a an engine collision thing you know what i mean um look, look at him real time Look, Zambrosa like gets flung back a little bit, and that just gives uh, Sambia the space to find the pass. That's a bit tough, is it? Like, it is. It is what it is. And then here again with Bruno, he gets the ball with Mbappe. I'm, I've, I, like, I mean, like, come on, man. That's Laurent Blanc. The first one with Poyol, the second one with Blanc. Like, I'm just in a good spot there, and Blanc gets out muscled by that Mbappe. But not even just out muscled. It's like he gets walked off the ball. It's, it's way too easy. And then the finish is nice. But I felt way, way more comfortable in the 4-4-2 there than I did in the 4-1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two. Look at that. We genuinely controlled this game. After going 2-0 down, we controlled this game. We just got hit on counters. That's a tough one. Oh, man. Ronaldo Hulik. Oh, it's a pro player. We're up against an actual pro player. I don't know who it is. That's such a joke of a goal. <clears throat> such a joke of a goal. Who's he play for? Uh, Gillingham, I think. O on loan, I think, from Celtic. Okay. Now with Lewandowski, using his physical strength to make sure 
Let's go, baby. Yeah, we can watch our celebrations. <laughs> Wait, I played literally like three insane players today. Yeah. Great goal. Just so undeserved. It's genuinely so undeserved. I've, I've literally, I've, I genuinely feel like I've been very, very unlucky in three games in a row. He, yeah, he was good. We've matched three insane players in a row, right? Which is one thing. But we, we've just, we've just not had the rub of the green in three consecutive, three consecutive games. Like he, he definitely deserved the win. He, he was, you know, by far the better player. But. It, like we, especially for the third goal when we're still in with the chance of the game, the tackles that he like I was making that kept popping back to him every time was just unbelievable. I'll show you his team as well, man. His team was just ridiculous, like, especially compared to mine. I, again, I, don't get me wrong. I know I've got a good team, right? I know I've got a good team. I know people look at the team of the years and think that my team is insane and stuff. Blanc and Poyo are on it. Podolski and Ozil are on it, right? I've got four players in my team that just aren't very good. And I, I, but I want to play with them because I want to play with them. So this was his team. Oh, look at that. It doesn't even have his pro player in there. How about oh. that? But he had Neymar, 94 Ronaldo, Cruyff, Hullet, Walker and Vidic at centre-back. Vidic obviously doesn't have the most pace. And Babu and Adama Traore with Pope in goal. That as his bench. And then he had a 99-rated wow. player in there. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it if you're going to give it to Love me. That. Yeah, I don't <clears> mind that at all. Oh, that's pen. Thank you. Oh, that's a red card as well. Royce has done a mad. Oh, he's gone. He's quit. Oh. I said that's a red card. Yeah, that was a bit bit brutal for a red card. That. Wow. Just gave me all the time in the world there, didn't he? Are you going to do that, Renato? Do you reckon? It depends like how good he is and what his price mm -hmm. is. <laughs> That's an interesting team. There Loads you go. of five star skillers in there. And I'm one nil down off the kickoff. That's like every oh, game. No. I like, literally, no matter what I do there, I just can't. I'm trying to like, I know exactly what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. and I just can't get close to stopping it. That's a foul surely game. I genuinely hate that. I genuinely hate what? that. It's like a 70-yard through ball that just goes perfectly to his Akocha. Like, literally perfectly. Look at his attack, man. He's literally three men up front all the time. And then on fast build-up. I've read that. Oh, come on. Oh. What is he doing? He's seriously just trying to play this out for the rest of the game. Take that. Out. Yep. <laughs> Mate, our players do not get anywhere near this passing, and I don't understand why. This is a joke. Oh, like my players, honestly, guys, my players are walking away from him. Let's go. We're still just about in this game, man. Jesus Christ. I just need to stop his attack. Like, No, that's for Davies EA, man. I've put so much power on that. 
Oh, thank God that went in. Oh, lower. Oh, ice. Pinned in here. Let's go, baby. Nice. Let's go, baby. It's a beautiful goal. Nice. Good left stick dribbling. <laughs> yeah, to the guys that were saying that this guy's unreal and stuff. Like, fuck, like, please, man. No. Show me some respect. He was awful. I was just defending awful. Yes. Absolutely obliterated him. So we're up against here. Jesus Christ, what a team that Whoa. is. Whoa! Oh my god. He's got Pim Cantona. Oh. That's all it's been this weekend, man, honestly. It's been crazy. <laughs> be a goal. What is going on? That's for Royce. Thank, thank Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. I'm getting there with it. I'm getting there. Yeah, then ball roll scoops you're doing are oh, next level good. Carry on doing. I'm trying. I'm trying to like yeah. get the reps in, trying to put it all in there. Very, very good from you. That's such a shit. Wow. Speed, man. Yeah, I've. Yes, yeah, you can have. Oh, another, just another tough game. Yeah. I, I, think you made that, I think you made that top on yourself, though. Probably, yeah. I think you were a lot better than that guy, personally. Oh, yeah, I mean, I dominated the game for sure. Yeah. I don't know how Royce missed that one chance. I don't have a look at that. I'm sorry, he's got to score that. Yeah. I, I... Or at least hit the target, like. Yeah, no, that's got to be a goal. It may, maybe the keeper saves that, but yeah. No, I don't that's... think so. Not with Royce's shot power. Yeah, that's, that's got to be on target. That. Hey, never mind. We got we got another one. Another one. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Interesting team. Oh, he's got nanny. That is a weird team, isn't it? Oh, Marco, let's go, baby. Finished. I should have scored with Ronaldo. I didn't need the uh, skill move, but. Just trying to get into my game, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bang and goal, that. Ooh. Out. Out. See you later, pal. <laughs> he gone. <laughs> oh, he gone. Is that you? Yeah. I mean, listen. One, one change of the team and boom. I've <laughs> <laughs> got Cantona. Thiago. I'm just saying. Hey, I don't know how much more I can read the play there. I think sometimes people misconstrue the game just being shit for servers being shit. Or sometimes True, people yeah. don't understand that they're just getting outclassed and they try and blame mm -hmm. it on servers. But yeah, mm -hmm. servers in general for me have been like, beyond decent. It's just a joke again, man. I mean, such a good area to defend it. I just don't understand. That's a joke. Mm-hmm. Oh, this guy's just all the cheese. All the cheese. Fuck me. <laughs> there are literally no counters this game. You you playing a different FIFA 21 to me, pal, if you have no counters in FIFA 21. This could be 
dangerous if he's not careful. Not an advantage with them. Referee says play on. Vidal. Lewandowski now. Arturo Vidal. Let's go, Ronaldo. Sapa. The biggest game with this problem this year, the same as last year and the year before and the year before that, is that EA do not balance this game. So regardless of what it is, whenever there is something that is broken, it just stays broken. And that is unbelievably triggering. That was a tough game, man. He, he was pressing hard. I controlled possession, but he was just sat deep, like pressed hard, did well with the ball, but... We get to gold three. All right, guys, to end off today's video, we just hit Kylian Mbappe out of a player pick pack. It doesn't really mean much. Um, it, it, it's as good as any 90 rated player for me. Of course, we already have an untradeable Kylian Mbappe. This is the third one we've got now. We used him in a previous one. I literally did one player pick pack and got Inform Aurier and one player pick pack and got Mbappe. And I, I was doing them singular because I just don't have anything left in the club. Um, I mean, he's got a good value still, of course, 500,000 coins or so, but he is just a 90-rated player for us, right? Um, and I'll show you, uh, with regards to untradables at the very least, that we are up to 83s with untradable rare gold. So we've got some untradable common gold still. And if we can build another one here, we will. But uh, with rare golds, it's 83s is the lowest. Now, I wonder about... Un about tradable so for tradables we've got some still so we can do one more here but that's that's basically i was just a little bit bored I, I i'm kind of i was kind of like sitting here just trying to decide whether or not i want to play on on champs um we are currently uh let me pop him up there we are currently 14 and 4 um and i'm just i'm just sitting here trying to decide on my easter sunday do I really want to put myself through playing more games? Oh, that's poor, isn't it? That's actually really poor. Right, let's let's do another one and let's make sure we use Buffon. Unless he's tradable. Oh, he, I, I know he's tradable, actually, because everything's tradable. Um, so that's where we're at. And uh, I'm, I'm quite enjoying the Sudamericana grind again at the moment, believe it or not. But yeah, with regards to foot champs, guys, we are 14 wins. I believe I'm 14 and 4. I believe I've got 12 games left. Let me have a look out here. Um, oh, Viper's lost three now. God damn. What's Rich at? He can get up to 24. Yeah, there you go. So I can get up to 26 wins if I win out. It, it's It's been tough this weekend. And I think you can tell that by the fact that both Rich and Vipes are suffering. Chris is suffering. Uh, he's 17 and 5. Um, all these like elite level players are just struggling. And I, I, I genuinely believe that um, I genuinely believe that a lot slash all slash most of the casuals just aren't playing the game right now. I think this, the skill level is way higher at the low end than ever before. Um, just because it, it comes down to the whole issue with champs in general, doesn't it? Packs and coins you can get anywhere in the game. Red player picks are generally behind the power curve because there's no promo cards in there. Um, it, it, it really is tough. It, it's... it's it sucks, but the fact of the matter is champs is becoming less and less valuable for rewards, which almost wants, makes me want to play more because I can use it as a learning tool instead of anything else. I just need to condition my mind to remember that playing the 30 games of champs as a learning tool is the thing that we're doing rather than playing for rewards and getting frustrated if we don't hit elite. Um, but anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.